Local law enforcement agencies preparing for the absolute worst case scenario. This happened at Dolphin Mall today as they trained for a mock drill. And Eric, that exercise was designed to better prepare officers to deal with the threat of an active shooter. And should it ever happen in a place full of innocent people like a mall here in South Florida, NBC6 reporter Julia Bagg is live at the mall for us this morning. And Julia, it is very rare that we get such a close, close look at something so intense like we did this morning. You're right, Eric, a really up close behind the scenes look, you know, looking around Dolphin Mall right now seems like a normal day here. But before all these shoppers got here, the place was transformed into an intense training ground. And remember, what you're about to see is only a drill. This is only a drill, but it feels like the real thing. From taking down bad guys Put your gun down. to negotiating with hostile hostage takers. You know what? This Scott's gonna die! More than 400 officers from agencies across South Florida tested their mettle in a series of worst case scenarios. <laughs> scenarios like a gunman opening fire at Dolphin Mall. A high tech balloon hovers overhead. It helps police detect movement even in the dark through a thermal infrared signal. In a crisis like this, officers may have to join forces with emergency responders they've never met. I want the officers to know and be able to work with whoever shows up. And not, nowadays, it's not like it used to be before that you wait for the first four officers. We may not get four officers from the same agency. North Miami Beach officer Lino Diaz credits this kind of training for saving his life last February. That's when he was shot in the arm and the leg while serving a warrant. Uh, scars from here to here. And I have a titanium plate with 10 screws in here. Still not back to full duty. His presence here is a message of its own. It's a reality check. You know, we always think hey, nothing's going to happen to us. The minute you put the uniform on and you come out here from day one, our lives are at risk. It's your hands, it's your hands, it's your hands. Officer Diaz also has a message for any would be attackers. I guarantee you that we are ready. Now, every year, Sweetwater Police hosts this event, this training scenario for more than a dozen agencies, state, federal, and local. Each year, it's with more high-tech tools. And if you'd like to see some more of these very intense moments, just go to our NBC6 Facebook page. We've posted it for you there. Live in Sweetwater, Julia Bag, NBC6.